Welcome to Learn How to Sign. Today, we are going to look at the differences between ASL, American Sign Language, and BSL, British Sign Language. Recently, I was lucky enough to collaborate with Sign Say in the UK. We discussed the similarities and differences between our two languages. We discussed signs and grammar in both of our sign languages. As a sign language nerd, I thoroughly enjoyed this virtual meetup, and I hope you enjoy learning about it too. So let's learn about ASL and BSL. Hi, Meredith. Good. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Very well. So uh, it's a bit informal, but I've got lots of things I want to talk to you about. Okay. So I think the first thing that would be good from my side to you is if you can give us a background about who you are, what you do, your name, how long you've been teaching for, how you came about trying to teach ASL, anything along those lines. Perfect. Yes. My name is Meredith Rathbone, and I am an ASL, American Sign Language teacher in the Texas Panhandle. I started learning sign language whenever I was in middle school, when my mom went back to school to be a sign language interpreter, and I started picking it up then. I went to college for interpreting, and I got my alternative certification as a teacher, and I am currently in the last semester of my master's degree wow. in deaf education. Wow, sounds amazing. <laughs> I don't have a, a, a great background like you. Uh, my one's slightly different. So, okay. uh, yes. my is Muhammad Ali. Uh, I am uh, a qualified primary school teacher. Okay. And I've been teaching for around 13 years now uh, as a primary school teacher. So, I teach reading, writing, phonics, maths, PE, the whole the whole thing <laughs> okay how did i come along to do british sign language which is bsl uh, i had one deaf parent at my school okay and the office staff used to write some notes and they used to keep swapping notes and i thought it'd be lovely if somebody in the school could communicate with this person and because we've had lots of the children coming into our school i said to my head teacher uh, I'm going to do this course, I'm going to pay it for myself, and then I want to communicate with this parent. Our school is very inclusive, so I want to learn British Sign Language. My head teacher, uh, she agreed to sponsor me for one year. Okay, Second year, she said, carry on. She sponsored me for the second year. The third year, fourth year, all the way to level six. So I would say the school maybe invested uh, thousands of pounds tens of thousands, okay? But in return, what did I do? I did all the interpreting for free. I taught parents, staff, school, and then now as part of science, I give some time back to the community. I teach people uh, and that's what I do, okay? Do I use sign with deaf people or BSL users every day? No, maybe I'm teaching a session a day and that's how BSL came uh, to me. Uh, so I did it till level six, which is like the highest uh, you can achieve. And after that, you can train to become an interpreter. I'm not an interpreter. Uh, again, I had to study one year uh, and some people do it over two years on a part-time basis, which I can do, but I don't enjoy that aspect. My receptive skills are not great. Uh, I think my teaching is good. So that's how I came about doing BSL. Yeah. All right then. So uh, let's have a look. So one of my questions was in London or in UK, we have lots of exam boards, okay? And they accredit BSL centers. Some are more stricter than other centers. Uh, is there something like that for American Sign Language? So in what do you mean by centers? Like uh, like where to learn the language yes. or? So for example, okay. Sign Say is a BSL center in London. We have okay. lots of centers. We have another center, for example, called Frank Barnes, okay? or uh, Al Ishara, or we have a center called City Lit. These are all centers that teach British Sign Language and they mm -hmm. are approved by examination board. So when you do your exam, you have to be approved. So I'm approved by a center called Signature. I'm mm -hmm. also approved by another center called C uh, CPD, Certification Center uh, Service. We also have IBSL, which is the Institute of British Sign Language, okay? 
And these exam boards, they have different marking criteria for a student to do exams. Some are stricter, some are a bit more lenient, some are more recognized in the BSL world, some are recognized mm -hmm. more in the deaf world. So there's like a, a body that accredit and say, you know, you've done the exam, you've passed level one, you can move on to level two. Do you have a structure, something similar to that in America? Yes. So our students who are hearing can take American Sign Language starting at the high school level, and that can be counted as a foreign language. So they can choose from any kind of language um, that the school offers. The majority here in Texas is Spanish. And then the next is typically sign language. And so I am certified to teach sign language from kindergarten all the way through high school, but it's typically our high school students that take it for foreign language. Then in college, you can get a minor or a major in American Sign Language, depending on which university you go to. And then you can also get master's degrees um, in ASL, in interpreting, in deaf education. And typically you're going to see those language levels go from one through four, maybe up to six, depending on what the requirements are at that university. Amazing, okay, interesting. I am qualified as a primary school teacher, so I hold a qualified teacher status. So that enables me to teach from the ages of three to 11. But I also hold the qualification for sign language. That gives me permission to teach BSL. And the next thing I'd like to ask you is in BSL, we have something called BSL structure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if it makes grammatical sense in English, then that's not BSL. So if I say my name is Muhammad, that becomes English. In BSL, I would say me name, Muhammad. Or I turn the sentence into a question and then I answer. So I might say, me, name, what? Muhammad. And that's how we sign go. Okay, that's lip pattern, BSL structure, where I'm going to turn a sentence or a paragraph into question then answer. That's a structure we use. Do you have the same structure or how does the structure in ASL work? Yes, yeah, so ours is not in an English structure either. Um, ours is going to be typically what we call topic common structure. Um, so for instance, the ball is on the table. In English, if it was signed English, it would be the ball is on the table. Okay. But in ASL, you would go, Table, ball. Okay. Just like that. Very, very. But then we also have questions. What are WH questions? Who, what, when, where, why, which, how? And then we have rhetorical questions using the because, the why in there. Um, and uh, then we have our typical yes, no questions. And that's kind of how we base our language off of. So it's not in the typical sense of an English structured sentence. Okay, so what you've explained, we call that, the first part of what you've explained, we call that sign supported English, okay? Yeah. Where you say the words and then you sign each word, okay? So that yes. would be, say for example, in a, in a normal school, where a mainstream school where there's a child who's maybe losing hearing but can understand, and it's an English lesson, but they need sign. So you would teach sign, but you do it in the English structure. That's exactly so, how we do it. So yes. that's, that's, that's what we call sign supported English. And BSL would be, as you've mentioned it, just get straight to the point, okay? Mm -hmm. Or uh, you don't go to remove words. You don't have to say every single word. Uh, right. You can just reduce the words. Okay, interesting. Thank you for that. We have something called non-manual features, okay? or facial expressions in another term. What does that mean? It means some words that you don't have to say. Your signing shows me what you're saying, okay? Mm -hmm. So, for example, the sign for happy will be like this. I don't have to say the word happy. That sign mm -hmm. is happy. If I'm angry, I don't say angry, I go, okay? We call that non manual features of facial expressions. Mm -hmm. If I'm bored, I won't say, I'll go like this. Okay, so these are expressions where we don't use 
lip pattern or we won't say the word. Do you have something similar in ASL where you don't say the phrase maybe, but you're, you're going to show an action or something like that? So ours is called non-manual signals. Uh, whenever you have a sign, it's made up of five parts, your handshake, palm orientation, location, movement, and non-manual signals. All of your signs are going to incorporate the first four and typically like sick, you're gonna do that with your facial expression or happy, you're going to do it like that. So you have to incorporate the facial expression with the sign itself, but we're not going to mouth it unless it um, requires it, what we call a mouth morpheme. So like if I'm finished with something, it's called pa, you go okay. yes. like that. And so that would be included in those non-manual signals where it's your body language, facial expressions, or your mouth morphemes. Okay, so we also have positioning. So if, if someone was uh, looking, if someone was standing, I look up, okay? If someone was, if something was positioned below, anywhere like that, we're going to position and move our head shape, okay? Yes. We also have something called roll shift, okay? Roll shift is one person signing for multiple people. So for level two, it's for two people. So I might establish, I might say, my daughter name what so i might say my daughter's name is sam i'm going to establish my daughter and that's her that's my daughter mm -hmm. that's my daughter sam i'm going to say my say to my daughter how are you my daughter now to respond she will say good thank you okay and that is role shift where we establish one person or maybe two people and then you're moving your head and not the whole body just the movement of the head and you're signing, okay? Or looking up if someone's standing, if someone's sitting, you're looking down. Do you have something like that roll shift in ASL? Exactly the same. Okay. Amazing. Yes, we do the roll shifting. Ours is called like a shoulder shift or roll shifting, depending on what we're talking about. You can look up if somebody is older, um, has more like hierarchy than you, and then looking down if somebody is younger or something like that. Uh, so yeah, and you can place them. Brilliant, exactly. And point to them so that way you don't have to say um, my daughter every single time. You exactly just gotta... the same, absolutely. So we have placement where you can physically place people in the actual places or you can place on your finger. So I'll give you an example. So if I wanted to say I like four types of food, so me like food for, I might go mm -hmm. first chips, burger, third sandwich, and so on and so forth. So the placement could be physically putting it there or sometimes on your finger. So if you had two or three children, you could say two children. You could say this one, do the name. You could say this one is cheeky. This one is naughty, for example. And you could say maybe Sam or Tom. Once you establish names and positioning, you can always just go back to that person with that finger spelling the name or repeating that. So you have it very, very similar, almost the same. Yes. That's one of the questions. We can do the listing as well. So ours is like this. Mm -hmm. You can do up to five, or you could go like this if you have more than. So I could do my family all together, my husband, so me, my daughter, and my son. And then I can reference back to whoever. And so what you've done, I do it that way my personal this is my personal opinion I, you know a preference i prefer it like that but if someone wants to do it that way like that it's also acceptable mm -hmm. okay. we also have something like first second third which you can do also like maybe three children you could say first uh, son second daughter so you've got that option so very similar so that's lovely to know the another another question i had for you let me just double check i wanted to compare some common signs. So I wanted our students to see maybe what, what signs you would do for hello and then what BSL sign would be for hello. So this one would be like, we speak and then we sign. And the second part would be, this is slightly more interesting. I would like to sign to you some sentences, no voice, pure signing. And I want you to guess what okay. you think I am signing, and it'd be very short. I'll have maybe five or ten sentences, 
very short, and I just want you to tell me what you think it means, and then maybe I'm you can butcher this completely. <laughs> yeah, that's the fun part. But then maybe you could sign in American Sign Language, slightly slower because obviously I don't know ASL. And then I want you to tell me, uh, I want to guess what you're signing. Okay. okay? But that then compare some signs. Oh, yeah, that looks similar. That's the same. All that kind of stuff. So if you have any phrases or any words you like to sign, and then okay. I uh, show you the BSL version. Is that okay? okay? And I've got some words as well. So if you, if you run out of words, I can say some words too. Okay. So I think a typical one is, hello, how are you? Okay. So let's see, hello, how are you? Okay, can you do that one more time? All right, okay. And then you, okay, so- And your eyebrows have to be down because it's a WH question. Okay, all right, good. That's, that's interesting. In BSL, it's, okay, or you could use the lip pattern, you don't have to, but, and then, and we don't say the word you, we say how you. So, with, uh, sorry, we don't say the word are, we say how you. Okay? But the word you is that. That is the sign on its own you. That's the sign for me. And we don't say the word I, we replace it with the word me. So, now if I wanted you to respond, if you were going to say good, thank you, how would you sign that in ASF? Okay, so we would go, good, thank you. And thank you also means please, so the lip pattern is really important, so. So, good, thank you. The same sign, good, if it's, if, if it's emphasis, if you're really, really good, you'll go. Okay, if you want you to say you're great, you'll do it like that, great or perfect. Okay, is That's that our sign for amen? <laughs> Oh, amen. Okay. That's the sign for great. Okay. There was a sign I wanted to check. You signed. Um, uh, can I just check? Hello. How are you? Again? Did you do how are you like that? So you can do it like this. That's how I was taught by a deaf professor. Or you can do it like this. Okay, fine. How are you? Very similar. Okay, good. The next, I want to ask you a question. So hello, how are you? I want you to sign for me. I'll, I'll show nice to see you and nice to meet you. The other two I want to show you and then you could do it. So nice to see you, that's the sign for nice. You're going to make a smile with your thumb under your chin, nice. The word see, one finger to your eye, you. So nice, see you. Okay, so that's the sign for see you. Nice to meet you, exactly the same, nice. But we're going to sign meet like that. And the way I remember this is that's the person, that's the person and they're coming together. So that's the sign for meet, so nice, meet, you okay so can you show me the sign for nice to see you so okay yeah. now let's talk about this one yeah this one in bsl for you maybe in asa means yes okay we teach this one for yes okay this one it's acceptable when it comes to like deaf uh, when you meet deaf people or in a deaf uh, center or when you communicate with deaf people and the theory I was told was deaf people if they always nod their head yes and no they'll have neck pain so this is yes and that's no so that's acceptable in the exam I say to students yes and that one's no okay that's one of the things the word uh, C can I see the word C again okay so we do also you could do that one we can do C or C with two fingers, with two eyes, you could do it like that. So C and C, so nice, C or C. This one, do you know what this means in BSL? Clean. Clean, that way you could do clean. And this one is H, the letter oh. H. So that's the letter H in BSL. That one we can use for clean. You could get away with that one for clean, okay? And let's see, nice to meet you, please. Okay, so nice. Uh, what's that one nice, yeah? Okay, the word meet, we do the same. So that's the person, that's the person, meet. 
But if we do it that way, it just means that person is going to meet this person. Mm -hmm. okay. What does this mean in uh, ASM? Does that mean? So this would just be like pulling apart from each other, mm -hmm. but there's no actual English equivalent word. Okay, so that one would mean, so this is the two people meeting, now they just left, that's one mm -hmm. option. This also means in BSN opposite. Oh, okay. So if you're sta uh, sitting opposite, it would be like that, so opposite, opposite. Okay, would you like to choose another sentence or phrase? Okay, um, how about see you later? Okay, so we have see you later, okay? How do you remember that one? This is in BSL on my palm. One thing that to my palm is the letter L. Okay. This one is flip, flip. So see you later. Okay. So deaf people might deaf people might sign this. I've seen this. Okay. That would be like if they want to talk to someone or meet someone. It might be a girl they like or a boy they like. They might go. Okay. That's how. Or if it's just see you later, it's. Okay, so that's how you would sign, see you. How would you sign that? Okay, later. Later, so it's coming out, see you, because it's moving out towards the person, see you later. But deaf slang. Okay, later, because we're on slang, do you know what this means in BSL? Wow. Why? Why is that why? You're right, but why? W O W? That's it. So W, the mouth is O, and that's what. Okay, so that's the sign for wow. Okay, let me choose a sentence if that's okay. Let's yeah. see what I have. Uh, okay, uh, I would like you to sign uh, I live in America. Okay. Okay. Did I do that correctly? Yes. Okay. So live, it's like a breathing. Live. America. We, we use this sign in BSM for America. Is there a uh -huh. reason why that's America? So there are a couple um, things that have been shared about it as in like a log cabin where people think of like a long time ago, whenever we like set up the houses, this is like the log cabin being um, connected to each other. But then also the idea is we are a melting pot, like stirred all together, all different nationalities, religions, backgrounds. So those are kind of the two reasons why. It's, it's good you know the reason because a lot of the signs, I don't know the reasons, <laughs> okay? So for example, if I sign, I live in England or Britain, so I might sign me. Middle finger to the right side is the sign for live. So me, live, Britain. That's the sign for Britain, okay? Britain, That's okay. It's, Britain. Do you know the reason why for Britain? I don't know the reason, but <laughs> okay. the reason but I don't think, I don't know if it's true or not. Okay, somebody explained it to me and they said it's all about colony and all that kind of stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, colonization and there was lots of history to it, but I, I did, I couldn't find the evidence. Okay, so I don't know, but you might be able to find it. Okay, I could ask a deaf teacher uh, and ask her uh, or ask him, I've got several teachers. England, like that. So that's a sign for England and English, like the England flag cross. Oh, uh, okay. That's that. But I don't know if that's the reason, but that is the sign. For English, so me, live. So that's Britain. And that one is England. Okay. And then we have like east of England, the south of England. So it's you go to your right for east, mm -hmm. you go to your left for west. Okay, so that's east, that's west, so that's north, and that coming down is south. Okay. So that's how we do it. Uh, the right. word is north. So, okay, good. So just good. doing a letter with it. Okay, with, is that with your hand shapes, fingers, the finger spelling? Yes. Okay, it might be quite nice to see the alphabet because you just showed uh, some letters. Uh, uh -huh. I have tried to learn it, uh, and I remember like three fingers for M. Is that correct? Uh -huh. Two fingers for N, 
and then one finger. I, I don't know why I found the handshakes difficult, but I find the BSL signs easier. And it could be because I've learned BSL and I need to practice more with ASL, with any yeah. language. The more you practice, the easier it gets. So if you would be kind enough to show us the alphabet and if there's maybe explanations why or anything like that would be great. Yeah, definitely. A, B, C, just because it looks like a C. D, looking like a D. Mm -hmm. E, F, I have no idea why this is F. And that's our perfect sign, okay? Oh, uh, okay, perfect mm -hmm. for F. Perfect. G, H, I, J, K, L, M. And so what I think of is the cursive letter M, like three humps. Mm -hmm. So that thumb is in between. M, N, O, okay. that O, P. That O we use that for zero. Zero. So we use it for zero also. It's just in the context of if it's a number or if it's a letter. P, Q, mm -hmm. R. So what else can that mean? We, we have this one for like being hopeful or like a wish. Right. So we could, this is our sign for hope, but you could go with both hands. Like okay. S, T, okay. U, V, okay, v. W. Okay, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how I teach my students to remember X is Captain Hook. Okay. X marks the spot. Lovely. So it's a, it's well, a long way to kind of remember it. X, Y. That um, one is our, that one is like our calling, our plane, our uh -huh. lip and shape, uh, walking in high heels, so lots of high Okay, yes. One. Yes. Z again, please. Z, yeah. Z. Is that like a zigzag? Yeah, so I tell them like swish it like Zorro, but none of them know Zorro. They've never heard that <laughs> <of> before. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and learn it because uh, I do find uh, it really, really interesting. So I'm going to try that. In BSL, what I teach when I'm teaching, uh, I always do this. I show them the signs, okay? But when you're signing, you don't have to show anyone. You can do it like that. So the first okay. thing I teach them, I teach them the first five vowels, so A-E-I-O-U. But as a student, this is what I want them to do because a deaf person can work it out what you're doing. Now in BSL, this is the letter M, okay? Three fingers. And it's like you're saying like, you know the three uh, lowercase letter M, but when you're signing, you're going to do it like that. Now the question I always ask my students is, how does a BSL user or a deaf person know that's M. If you're not showing them three layers, how do they work that? So that's a question for you. Ah, there you go. That finger coming down, yeah, one finger there, we know that's M. If it's two fingers down, it's N. If it's one finger here and three down, it's L. So that's how it is. So I teach M, N, and L. So L, M, N. So one for L, three for M, and then two for N, but I teach A, E, I, O, U. And in London, we have A and E department. It's called the Accident and Emergency Department. So that's how they remember A and E. So Accident and Emergency. For the O, the way I teach O, I say it's the ring finger, okay? So O, that's how I say it. So Accident and Emergency, A and E. O, like that. The hardest ones are the letter I middle and the U, okay? So that's. A. B, I teach like that. I also say it's like monoculars, okay? If that helps you remember, but I do it there, so B. C, students do sign C like that. It's incorrect, and I say to you, that's American sign for C. BSL sign, C like that, so C, C. For the letter D, you bring it over, and when you look at it, it looks like the letter D, because it's a capital D. You know the letter E. Can you show me the letter E? Because it's a vowel. 
So that's M O O E P S L. Okay, perfect. So that's E, and they always say, "Oh, we don't know." I think you do because A E vowels. The letter F, two fingers, and you come like that. So you tap it once. It's one syllable F. But I also teach on the letter F because it's the same handshake. I do this, and that's the sign for father. So F F father. Okay. I then teach on this lesson. I teach this sign. I got anti-clockwise, and that's the sign. That's perfect. That's the sign for Friday. Okay, that's Friday, and then I teach family. That's the sign for family. So the way I teach, I say this is F. Tap it two times. Father, Friday, and then I go around, and that's the sign. Oh, for family. No that's perfect. And the reason why I do that because I find it when I'm teaching, they remember these signs uh, when they're doing that handshake. Letter G, like that. Okay, so that's G. Okay, on the letter G, I teach gold. That's the sign for gold. Okay, this is a question for you. This is a place of worship. Do you know what this would mean? Church. That's the sign for church in BSN. Okay, so I teach G. I teach gold, and then I teach church. Now you know the letter G. I would like you to show me. Grandfather, how would you sign grandfather? Now you know father, you know G. In yeah, and then okay, uh, what's what? grandfather? <laughs> Good try, grandfather. Okay, so F father. That one's Friday, and that one is family. So grandfather would be G father. So that's a sign for father. Then I teach H. The one you said is light. Is that the sign for light? For America. Nice. nice. That's the sign for nice. We teach that one for H. If I come back a couple of times and I change my face, that's the sign for happy. Okay, so, okay. And again, if it's a non manual feature, you don't have to say it. So you, if it's a birthday and you're singing, you might go happy. And then birth, that's the sign for birth. That's the sign for day. So birthday. Is that the same for American Sign Language? No. <laughs> well, it's not birthday. Birthday. Okay. So we say. But there's a lot. I don't know if you guys have regional signs. We do. We, uh, do. we have lots okay. of regional signs. So here in this region is birthday. Okay. So we do. So I'll give you an example. We teach in London 10 like that. Okay. Regional sign 10 like that. Okay. Uh, we teach like going to a castle like that. Okay, but regional signs, castle like that. Okay, there's lots of different signs. Okay, but uh, in level two, we teach regional signs. So that's G and then H. I, you know the letter I. What's the letter I? Perfect, that's I. From I, you come straight down to make the letter J. So that's the letter J. And it's like when you write it, it looks like that. That's J. When it's K, Index up on your left, and then that's it. And when you look at it, it looks like the letter K. You know L, M, N. Let's see L, M, N. Perfect. M. Good. And then N. Perfect. Now you know that this is father. In BSL, how would you sign mother? If it's F, F for father, perfect. Mother. And this one is important because with the lip pattern, it could change. It could be minutes. It could be Monday. It could be mother. So lots of signs. Can you see with okay. this one? So that's M, L, M, and O. You know O. What's O? Perfect. P, when you look at the letter P, there's no gap. Okay, so it looks like P. If it was a gap, it's a capital D. So that's how I remember it. If you forget it, go back to C. Make it into a D. Make it into a P. That's how I teach it. Q, I teach the perfect sign first. That's perfect. And I say with the left hand, keep the perfect sign and the index, hook it down. And it should look like the letter Q. So P, Q. So when you're saying left-handed, if you're, or use your left hand, if somebody is using, is left-handed, do they then do the opposite? They Absolutely. So, okay. so, so the, one, the, the one I'm showing you is right-handed sign. Okay, so if I was left-handed, this is what I would do. A, E, I, O, U. So A, B, it doesn't matter because that's B. Mm -hmm. C, D, E, F, 
When it's right-handed F, right goes on front. G, gotcha. right hand like that, but if it's left-handed, like that. H goes away, but H, can you see, it's very similar, but literally, the way I teach it is if you're right-handed, you need to imagine you're sitting on my chair, okay, and you're signing. If you're left-handed, you mirror me. So if I say hello with my right, you're saying hello with your left. And that usually works for me. So we said uh, that was P, Q, R, that's R, Q. R is like that. So when you look at it, it's been flipped around. Okay, so that's P, Q, R. S is the one most students get confused because the letter U is this one with that finger. Your index touches the little finger. S, little finger, touches the little finger and they get very confused with U and S. So U, A, E, I, O, U, and the little finger is S. And the, on the letter S, I teach silver. So right goes up. So gold goes oh. up, right goes up, silver. T stands out like that. So flat is L, T stands out. So L, T, and that's you, like uh, we know that one is you. V is very similar to your one because your one was, uh, was it like that or that one V? So we do it on the par, that's V. W, which is similar to like America, but that way. So that's the question how, and also the letter W. So W, X, it looks like X to me. Y, you're going to make the letter Y on your left palm. So there, that's Y, perfect. And that's the sign for Z. Okay, so that's it. And I personally find the alphabet in BSL the harder, harder than sentences because some sentences look more straightforward than the finger spellings. Okay, so any other words or any other phrases you want to, any words you want to just shout out and then we'll sign it. And then I'm going to, we're going to play that game where I say a sentence in, sign a sentence in BSL and then you can try and guess what I'm signing. Um, something that we do in class, like some of the, first things that uh, we teach them is, hello, my name is, I'd like to introduce my friend, something like that. Go for it. So you tell me what you're finding in the sentence, and then I'll try and uh, do our version in BSL. So let's send okay. I, okay. So, oh. I want introduce my friend, pointing over to her name, Kelly. Okay, so if you could now do it word by word, I'm going to yes. show our word. So the okay. one you did, so that's I, I. or we me. Say, we say me with one thing, and that's me. Okay, let's see the next word. Want. We go want. Want, okay. Uh -huh. And then? Introduce. 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 Mm -hmm. My. We call my. Very similar. Friend. friend. Okay, we use this one for friend. Like shaking hands, friend. And then you think. Then pointing to the person. Okay. Name. Name. Okay, our name. 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 Very interesting. Mm -hmm. And then. Kelly. Kelly. Okay, so we when we introduce someone or when we say someone's name, we have to do it in the correct lit pattern. So my name is my I'll do it like this first. So here what I've done, I said my name, and then every end of a syllable I've said it. So I've gone gotcha. Ooh. Ham, men. So sometimes name, finger spelling people know the letters, but they don't know how to pronounce someone's name. Okay, so it was Victoria, I would go Vic, to, re, ah. Some names are complicated, like the name Siobhan, because the way you spell it, it's not the same way as you pronounce it. So those are a bit complicated, but general names like Tom and Bob, they're the easier ones, okay? Mm -hmm. I want to show you a sign okay. that I say to my students. Uh, I say, uh, like you, uh, what's your name? Okay, so this is what we would say. So that's a question I ask them. 
So that's the question, you, mm -hmm. name, what? Now this sign, most students say that means like, no. Okay, you might use it for young children like, no, but this uh -huh. is actually the question like, what? If I take it slightly higher and I come down, that's the sign for people. If I take it a lot higher and faster, that is the sign for lightning. So what? People, lightning. And the student should reply by saying, my name, and then finger spelling their name. Now, sometimes a sentence, you can turn that sentence into a question by nodding. So I'll give you an example. You hearing, that's like a statement or a fact or a, a sentence. If I want to ask you as a question, I could do this. You hearing, and it becomes a question. I'm nodding my head, it's a question. And then you could say yes or no. That's one way of asking a question. The second way of asking a question is you can do like this. You hearing, deaf, which, okay? You like tea, coffee, which. So you've got nodding as a question, or you could do it as like a which or what or who gotcha. and why. Uh, do you have something like that in ASM? I do. So if we were saying it was a statement, me hearing me, which is what's called a closing signal. But if I'm going to ask somebody if they are hearing, Okay, so the whole body also moves. Yes, your eyebrows go up, you're leaning forward. That is what you do for asking a yes, no question. Right. And then- You've definitely it, got a lot more experience with the uh, facial expression and stuff like that. It's definitely one of my weaknesses. And you're right, in BSL, it's, it's as expressive as what you're showing. But for me, because I'm not teaching BSL every day and I'm not implementing it, maybe that's an area where I'm lacking because you're right, because Sometimes I might have to move my eyebrows out or look down and yeah. all that kind of, and it's really, really important. And uh, anyone who's going to watch this, you can find better people who do better facial expressions than me. So look out for those people too. Uh, interesting. So um, if you're asking what's a WH question, like are you hearing or deaf? Oh. Which you hearing deaf? Which and you see? Yeah, definitely that makes sense. Okay, so can you just show me hearing again? Hearing because hearing people talk a lot. Okay, okay, hearing. Okay, good. And then deaf, deaf, pointing to oh. mouth, ear. Okay, so so I'm going to now show you something. I teach for level one hearing. Hearing. But I should also teach, and I do explain it, I teach this one for hearing. This is the sign for hearing. And the reason why I don't agree with it, and the reason for that is, this means a person who can hear can also speak. And that's not mm -hmm. always the case, because I know a deaf examiner, a deaf teacher, she's deaf, but she can't speak. And mm -hmm. that's why sometimes you might see the sign for deaf like that, deaf. Mm -hmm. Because some deaf people can speak. Okay, yes. so it's interesting that it's gone from there to there. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Do you want to do anything else? Any question before we play the last game? Um, I think that's all I could, oh yes, I was going to ask you guys this. Um, so in um, your area, do you guys have sign language considered a foreign language? Mm, this is an interesting topic because I can't remember the date, but I know my colleague has written an article and there's a year when BSL was actually seen as an official language map. Okay, so to be official, it's this week in 2003, it was passed as official language. I think uh, this whole week or month is passed as, uh, let me get the exact time. <laughs> because I know I did this, uh, I had to do my uh, dissertation on this topic. Is BSL a language or not? For many, many years, it was not considered a language. And actually, it's, it's been recognized as a language. In fact, they are trying to push it for a GCSE curriculum, which is like our secondary school age, from the age of 11 to 16. 
they want to make it like a, a option where students can choose it like Spanish or French or BSL and uh, make it as an official exam. So I don't know if it's an official thing at the moment, but I think it's going to be very likely where it's going to be seen as an official thing. Okay, so the government in the UK officially recognized BSL as a language on 18th of March, 2003. So almost exactly a year ago, from yeah. today. <laughs> Not a year, is it, is it a year oh, or 11, 10 years, yeah, 10, yeah, 10 or 11 year, years, yeah. it was considered as an official language. But I know in London, we have lots of centers that teach BSL, lots, mm -hmm. okay? And um, there are lots of students that are interested uh, in BSL. And I think during the lockdown, because people had more time and they wanted to learn a new skill, the demand for sign language has gone up a lot. Yeah. Uh, We're officially in sign language week. This yeah, week. we are, yeah. In this yeah. week is officially the sign language week. Uh, but that's what I can say. Uh, I might need to look into that to give you a proper answer, but that's what I can give you for the time being. <laughs> there are there are other centres and other organisations uh, uh, who wanted to become uh, GCSE school level, uh, which is how it is in America. But at the moment, we've got languages which are just regular languages, so the Spanish, uh, French, uh, German, uh, even Bengali, because there's a lot of Bengali people in East London where we live. So that, that's taught in schools as well. Uh, so sign language is definitely one of the ones that people want on there, uh, but it's uh, not been accepted by the schools yet. Yeah, sure. but there are, I know there was like a consultancy a meeting, I think a year or two ago, where they were looking at people who taught BSL to have their input. If there was a curriculum, what does it look like? Should it be different? So we have had students, I think our youngest student was 13 or 14, who has actually sat the official exam and passed, okay? Uh, and the guidance is, it doesn't matter of the child's age, for them to be officially recognized, if they meet this criteria and they do this in an exam, then they get an exam. And it doesn't, and the age doesn't have to be how old you are or how young you are. As long as you can meet the criteria, you can be recognized. But this recognition is from exam boards, the, the reputable exam centers, exam boards, they accredit this. Okay, but there are people which I've seen don't have any qualification, don't have any certificate, but they can sign better than me. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's because they might have a deaf member in the house, they're signing daily. And I always say to students, when you're going for a exam, they might say to you, they want to see a certificate for level one, a certificate for level two. And the key is not always a certificate because I've assessed people who have certificates but I could not admit them for my level two, for example. And the reason for that was not that they don't know BSL, they haven't practiced it and they've forgotten. For, them, for me to put them into level two, they're going to struggle. And I've said to the student, repeat level one for free, and they will admit you to level two. And that student said to me, but I've got level one certificate. And I said, yes, you do, but you've forgotten sign. And there are other students who have no certificate whatsoever. They've gone on to uh, a level three exam center, exam board. They've done a pre-level three assessment and they've been assessed and accepted, no certificate. And that student has decided not to do the level two exam now because she has been admitted for level three. So. You know, I do advise students to do the exam, but this student didn't do the exam and has been admitted for level three. So it's how well you sign. People do become nervous during exam time mm -hmm. and lots of stress for that. So that's what we can say. Awesome. Well, that is some great information and I hope you guys, it continues to grow in your area. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, this is the part I really want to do. Because okay. um, uh, I just want to uh, sign just a few things, okay? Okay. And I just want you to tell me what you think I'm signing. So I might sign maybe five sentences. Is that okay? okay. Yeah. yeah. You could do five or we could do one each and then we could take it from there, okay? Okay. Okay, let me see. Uh, Welcome to my house. That's the sign. So, welcome <laughs> my house. In BSL, that would mean welcome to my house. So, the first few sentences, I'm going to use my lip pattern. And then okay. at the end, I'm going to stop that. Just the sign. So, let's see. Would you like to sign one? Okay. 
How about we see uh, welcome to my house in ASL? Yeah, let's see welcome to my house in ASL. That'd be quite nice. This is also the sign for house in BSS on the roof and then the walls. Okay, mm -hmm. let's have your one, please. Okay. Okay, I think I've got that. It's very similar to BSS. I might be wrong. Uh, I think you said today, snow. Or it's yeah. Snowing. Yeah, so you could do today like that or today like that. That's very, very yeah. similar. Okay, so it is an actual blizzard outside my window okay. right now. Okay, so we would go. And that's the side for snow. All right, let me now can you change your level of snow? Could you do it like for us? It could be or <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So the one that works best for this is rain. So rain. But lots of rain. Okay, flood, we do. But if it's lots of flood, you're going to. Okay, so yeah, absolutely. So that could work. Uh, let me see if you can work this out. You have a tiger? <laughs> Good try. That is from the tiger family or the cat family. That's the sign for. Cat, like the whistle. Cat. That cat. <laughs> I hope you don't have a tiger. So, so if you wanted to say tiger, you could do tiger or tiger. Tiger, whether, um, what's the sign for cat in ASL? Cat. We use this one for France. That's a sign for France. Okay, that's a sign for France. Okay, have a go. Okay. Can you repeat that one more time, please? All right, I think, I think you signed, I have a dog. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see the sign for dog, please. Okay, so you're slapping the side of your leg. And then the tail, yeah? Is that the tail? And then it, it's just like, hey, come here, come here, come here, okay. come here. All right, so we would do tail like that. Okay, for me, I have a dog would be like this. Me, have. Oh, that's okay. cute. So that's a sign for? Dog, so I have a dog. All right, I'm going to sign. Um, this is the sign for, this is the letter C, the letter C. Okay, okay. so I'm going to give that as a finger spelling C, C. Okay. I want to see if you can tell me what it is. I'm not going to use any lip pattern now, okay? Okay. I love this is a person who's slim. In. It does mean slim. It does mean slim, but it's a. I love Coca Cola. Yeah, you're right. But what's this part then? Diet, diet, <laughs> diet Coke. Okay, so me love that when the mouth goes in, and the fingers do that does that become slim or diet coca-cola so me diet coca-cola all right have a go for something you want but no lip pattern or just sign okay. it let me see if i can work it out please um let me see <laughs> one more time please i think i've got the gist of it Something like I eat food spring roll. <laughs> My favorite food, uh -huh. spaghetti. Spaghetti, okay, that's quite nice. Okay, so uh, my favorite, so that's a sign for favorite, eat and food, okay? And do you part. do, ours is eat food. Uh, eat. Let's see the difference, let's see, let's see that again. So eat, it goes, into your mouth, like you're eating it. Food, it moves twice. So it's called a noun verb pair. I, I don't think we have a difference. Uh, I might be wrong, but it, that, that makes sense to me. But we teach food, eat, meal, and it's on the context. Okay? Gotcha. So eat, if I was eating it, 
Then, yeah, that would be like me eating it all. But my, like this, favorite food, spaghetti. This one can be used for pasta. Like uh, we have a fisili pasta, like twisted pasta. Mm -hmm. Or that's the sign for spaghetti where we're going to stretch. Yeah, that's the sign for spaghetti. All right, let me, let's do two more. Okay. And then um, uh, we can move on. All right, let me see what I should use. Okay. I'll do that again. Okay, so I'm thinking something about a helicopter. <laughs> Good, that's helicopter. Okay, um, this, I don't know, because this is our sign for tired. I so want to it that way. This one means rich. Rich. So I so said, if I have a helicopter, I'm rich. Very good. So I said, me have, I can't remember what order it was. I think it's me, rich, have, have helicopter. The word have, imagine like playing tennis or cricket or baseball. You've caught the ball, you have that ball in your position. Uh, mm -hmm. in your position. So having that. So me, rich, have. Mm -hmm. Hello, gotcha. All right, your turn, please. All right. <laughs> One more time, a bit slower. I think you said you are going to go to the cinema. Yes, I said when also. When am I going? Hmm. So what does that one mean? Saturday. Ah, okay. Saturday. Okay. What's that one? Night. Ah, okay. So we do Saturday night. So you do Saturday night. Okay. I huh? go to uh-huh, go to. Movies, cinema. Okay, why is, why is that cinema? We have this one, we use that for cinema or cinema. Okay, <laughs> so I was told, think of like the old movie reels and then the light projecting and then it's like going through and then it's the image. Uh, that does make sense. I also think about like, you know, people moving on the screen, think about people, but right. that one makes more sense. Okay, interesting, thank you. Let me do one more. And then you can have one more. Let me take any last final question, yeah? Okay. Do that again. Okay, so I I eat what? Good, I eat what? And then, so initially I was thinking turkey because okay. this is our sign for turkey. Uh, turkey, that one. Okay, but I'm thinking maybe like a hot dog or a <laughs> right. hamburger. Okay, or... that, one, that one is a burger, yeah. So there's this one and that one. Okay, what about this? What does this mean? Fish. Okay, that's the sign for fish. When it comes to eating, it goes there. Okay, so you're fish. gonna eat fish and chips? Chips, that's the sign for chips or French fries. I'm not sure what you call it in America. So you, you call it French fries? French fries, so French fries. Uh, okay, what do you call crisp? What's the sign for crisp? We do crisp. What do you call that? Ooh, uh, I. We don't use the word crisp. You don't, okay. So that was one of the things that we were looking into. So when we open our packet of crisp, we call that crisp. And we like chips? Chips, chips, that's the word, ch chips. So what's the sign for chips? We call that chips, which you call French fries, and we call that crisp, which you call chips, yeah? Yes, yes. Um, so chips can either be finger spelled, or I have seen like this, like chips, 
which is also like cracker is this, but like opened, I have seen as chips. And we well. use that one for biscuit. Biscuit. Okay, so we use that okay. for biscuit, for biscuit like you're eating. Okay, so uh, I said me eat what? Fish, chips, burger. Okay, if I want to eat a cheeseburger, that's the sign for cheese, like grating. And that's uh -huh. the sign for burger, cheeseburger. Um, yeah, let's see your last one and then we take any final questions or comments and then we'll, we'll end the session. Okay. One more time, please. <laughs> okay. I think, I think you said you have or you like the animal pig. Yeah. <laughs> No? Am I, am I way off? <laughs> All right. Well, yes. okay. Right. My, yeah. Favorite baby? Daughter. Daughter, okay. Daughter. So, so feminine signs are down here. <laughs> All right. And masculine signs are up here. Okay. So it could be son, daughter. Daughter. And that one we use for like a baby. A baby, yes. And so they are still our babies, Absolutely. even though they are not physically a baby. So, okay. son, did you say there? Is so I did this. Okay, so that one's daughter. Good. Okay. Ice cream, lolly? Silly. <laughs> Silly. All right. All right. What is the sign? What's this one? Cute. Cute. So that's a sign for cute. cute. Uh, okay, one more time. Can I see that as a whole sign? Okay, we have cute like that. Naughty or in trouble. Cheeky like that. Uh, silly, I'm not sure what that would be. Uh, silly, maybe. I'm not sure of that sign. And your silly is like that, yeah? Silly. Silly. So that handshake. See, we the reason why I said pig because here we take okay. ham. Oh, okay. Pig. So ham and pig. That one we use for wine. Okay, uh -huh. drinking like the stem of the glass wine. Okay. Uh, what's your sign for orange juice? OJ. Okay, so we do orange like as in like squeezing uh -huh. orange and then J. Orange, and you do the J. That was really, really uh, lovely uh, meeting and speaking to you. I've yes, taken lots, uh, lots from your blood. Lot. I'm going to continue to look into ASL, and then it yes. will come to me again. Maybe one day. I'm not sure what you think. It will be lovely for you uh, to meet all of our students because they might have. Oh, that would be wonderful. They might have lots of questions to ask you, and it's different. You get to see. I don't know, we can fit like 100 people. We might, we might have more than 100. And yes. You could maybe host, you could teach us some signs, you could talk. It just, I don't know, it's just lovely to see another person's face, someone who's in the same industry. Lots of things that you could teach. It'd be lovely for you to just even teach a session. Do you see, yes. we could open it up to them. And oh, what you teach to your students, it'd be really nice for our students uh, to do that. Uh, what do I you love do? that idea. Let's make yeah. that happen. Let's make that happen. I'm sure Matt will be in touch with you. Uh, but I'm really, really looking, um, and the students are really, really looking forward to it because I already said I'm meeting uh, someone who does ASL and they want to see this video. They just want to meet you in person and ask you all the questions. It would be really, really lovely. Would that be a good idea, yeah? Perfect. Yes, let's make that happen. Let's do that. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask me or anything else before we end the session? Um, do you have a slang on or any way that whenever you leave, you say goodbye in British Sign Language? I don't know. Goodbye, I'm gone. <laughs> goodbye. In, in American Sign Language, when deaf people leave, this is the sign I love you, but they go like this. And they're just uh, like, love, love, I've, love, seen, love, I've love. seen that one. I've seen that one. You take care. Thank, Thank you so much. You. <laughs> yes. Bye. Okay, bye. We hope you found this collaboration interesting. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments of doing future collaborations like this. Now, if you like the sweatshirt, you can get one too. Check it out down in the merch. Also, if you'd like to learn more about ASL, subscribe to our channel and visit our website, learnhowtosign.org. And until next time, keep learning how to sign.